Welcome to the deck here on Marvel.com here at San Diego Comic Con 2019. I am joined by the wonderful and incredible artist and actress Lauren Tsai from FX's Legion. Lauren, how are you? I'm wonderful. Uh, this is, I'm so happy to be at Comic Con again. It's just a crazy place to be and like just the energy here is insane. Mm -hmm. There's so many legendary people in this corner of the earth right now. It's, uh, it's a cool, cool spot. Yes, so now, congratulations are in order. You made your acting debut yes. on FX's Legion. Like, what, what was that like? I mean, it's such an amazing show, uh, and you're awesome in it. So oh, what thank was that you. like? Thank yeah. you. I mean, it's, it's, it was just an incredible experience from start to finish. I mean, even just uh, when I got the audition, it felt surreal. Or it felt incredible to even have the opportunity to audition for that show. So in getting the part and uh, moving out to L.A. from Tokyo, because I was living out in Tokyo at the time, um, I, f I felt like I was, uh, it was the whole thing is like falling down the, a rabbit hole because <laughs> Legion totally is for the viewers and stuff too. If you watch the show, you know how like the visual artistry just pulls you into this other world and yeah, <laughs> incredible. Got, got and just, I, so I, my, my sentence is getting pulled into like this, <laughs> but um, I'm so f grateful that I could make something with those people and tell this story and bring this character to life. So. Uh, I hope you check it out. <laughs> <laughs> and you're no stranger to telling stories because you are an incredible Marvel cover artist as oh, well. Oh, thank you so much. So I want to hear about, speaking of origin stories, yeah. right? I want to hear what got you into illustration and how did you come um, to Marvel? I've always loved to draw just for my entire life. It's probably been my favorite thing to do and still is my favorite thing to do. Um, and with uh, doing covers for Marvel, actually, I met so I met CB, who's the editor in chief of Marvel Comics, through uh, a friend of mine. We had a mutual friend who I was doing a lot of Instagram stuff back in the day, and uh, this guy reached out to me, kind of saying, "Oh, we can hook you up with like restaurants and that kind of like deal, hotel deals and stuff." So I was like, "Yeah, cool." And he's like, "By the way, I'm friends with this guy named CB because CB's also very into like food and culinary <laughs> stuff, so they were friends." And um, they hooked us up over email, so I started to email CB my work. And one day he sent me an email that was like, we're looking to bring on new people in the coming year and we'd love to try working with you. So that was it. Uh, <laughs> I remember when I got that email, it was like around New Year's time. And I was like, mom, because I was back <laughs> home. I was back home for the holidays. Yes. And I was like, mom, mom, like you need to see this. Right. Like it was, a, I didn't think it was real. And I was like, read this. Mom. And like we all freaked out, the whole family. Everyone just thought this was like not happening. Um, but it was so cool. I always love hearing illustrators like processes and like their mindsets. Like, so yeah. when you're making, doing a Marvel cover, what are some of the things that you, your, you in your own voice, you're like, I yeah. always want to hit this. I always want my covers to be distinct in this way. Yeah, so I've only done two so far, and I do. I, I feel like there's there's so much that I wish I could have changed, of course, and I feel like that's with anything that you do, but especially in dealing with characters that have such a deep history and have such engaged fans who really grew up with them. It's uh, it, it felt like a big responsibility, and I think there's a lot of things that um, you know I've learned from doing it. But um, I, I try. I think in all the work that I do, I do try to maintain my style throughout it, to not try to change to like look a certain way or to appeal to a certain um, audience, but simply do something that I think is cool, and I hope that that translates well to people. But. Yeah, it was uh, it was so fun to be able to have the opportunity to do that. But yeah, <laughs> I, I definitely I learned a lot, and it was uh, so fun to to do it. Yeah. yeah, and then of course you now artists of course behind the you're behind your drawing. But now, but what was the idea to go now move into acting and move into on camera performance and stuff like that? Because that's such yeah. I feel like it's such a daunting thing to undertake. Yeah, there's been, because like growing up, I always wanted to do art, and I was like, oh, I'm an illustrator, and I want to do animation, and I wanted, that was kind of the path I saw for myself, is I wanted to go to art school and just do the traditional thing, but it, it didn't feel right to me, because I feel like I had this moment in my senior year where I realized I had identified so much with my work that I didn't know anything about myself, and I didn't know what... I, you know, what other things I wanted to pursue and what kind of adventures I wanted to live out and see for myself. Like, I never really went out to, like, parties and, like, you know, I wanted to experience things more. So I decided to uh, move to Japan and pursue modeling, which is, like, a crazy thing because I had always identified it being as being very introverted mm -hmm. growing up. So it's like, why would I do something like that, you know? Um, and I don't know. And I think that's something that I could never answer was just simply that I wanted to tell myself that there are just endless sides to myself and I don't need to decide who I am or what kind of things make sense for me. 
um, but I went on to that reality TV show uh, a couple years ago and uh, yeah, that's when everything basically changed and I realized that I don't need to be afraid of people seeing me anymore. Which is an incredible message to send to all the, all the people out there. You don't are... need to change. <laughs> you don't need to change to be seen. You don't need to change to feel like you deserve to be seen. That's, I, that's the thing I felt for such a long time was like, well, I'm not that person. Um, but you know, we all are, we, all we know is ourselves, but also we never know ourselves. And I think once you come to terms with being okay with that uncertainty and like being able to just flow through things, then uh, you can really, you know, there's all the time in the world to do what you want to do. Um, but I, yeah, with acting, it's something that I was, I really loved when I was younger, like in like third grade, fourth grade, fifth, sixth, like that kind of era, I really loved it. Um, but then I just had this like bout of, you know, lost my confidence and I was like, oh, I'm not an actress and I can't do that. Um, and yeah, so when the audition came through, I knew that this was something I had to attack and had to do again because I really wanted to. Yeah. Well, yeah. I think you could easily transition to Lauren Sai, life coach. With oh, all the pearls I, of wisdom that you're dropping. I, I feel bad. I don't want to be like telling like this is no, how you do it. No, it's so good. No, you're, 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 you're a perfect example of knowing yourself and, and challenging yourself and taking a huge, a huge daunting leap into a, a, a scary career and being Thank awesome you. at it, which is great. Uh, Thank you very much. <laughs> but, yeah, I hope that, I mean, the, the, the one, the great, great thing about social media is that you get to show like this journey, you know, and I hope that people can see that it's okay to try different things and it's okay to just constantly push yourself to be nothing at all, you know? Nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Lauren, for thank joining you. me up here. It's so good to talk to you and hear your story. It's incredible. Thank you. And let's check out what else is happening here on Marvel.